that debut by Kelvin Kipton inside two hours and two minutes. But now, can we see a women's world record? It looks likely at the moment, Richard, doesn't it? Well, exactly how fast she's going we, is, is hard to say. We, we're looking for a, a 40K split. Uh, it'll be in the next few minutes. There's the Eritrean finishing. Goitam Kifle, but James, as you say, absolutely staggering times. The number of athletes that have finished in under two hours and six minutes. This, this race is going to break lots of records for lots of different reasons. But I think we've had one big story already in the men's race with uh, the win of the debutant Kiptum. Now we're looking at Amana Barisa, she's a very well-known marathon runner. And there's the top Spanish athlete. I think he's just going to fail in his attempt to set a new Spanish record. Remember, his Spanish record set in Seville earlier this year to our 6 minutes and 25 seconds. So he's outside that. But just look at the depth of runners now. Navarro of France has Navarro, run very well. Yeah, Navarro, he, sorry, yes. He's going to be the first Spaniard across the line. So trying to concentrate on two races at the same time. So, yes, Landerson has faded just over the last final few kilometers. He's now onto the carpet within the city. That's the pain of the marathon right there, isn't it, Richard? But, uh, and I tell you what, the joy right now of uh, potentially going into the history books. And on the left-hand side, Riso looks absolutely phenomenal right now well she is into i was going to say i think that she's into the final two kilometers yes that, that is the 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 porta de la mar and i think as she turns this corner we will see the 40 kilometer point uh, i think it comes just a few meters up this road if that is the case there's the 40 kilometer point james can you see yes so, and the athlete went past her almost to say, come with Assuming me, come with me. she's running at about 3.10 pace, which is, I think, the pace she's been running for the last 10 kilometers. She is, wow, very, very close to the, the course record. Remember, the, um, sorry, the, the world record. The world record set by Bridget Koske in Chicago in 2019, two hours, 14 minutes and four seconds. Amina Bariso, for the first three quarters of the race, ran on the shoulder of the race favourite, Let Us End at Gide. And over the last 10 kilometres, after taking the lead in the women's race, has just extended and extended that lead. And she hasn't looked back, has she, Richard? She hasn't looked back. She's, she's just kept her own pace. For a few minutes, she was looking at her own watch, scarcely believing what she was doing. But now... She is, well, I wonder her support team must be going absolutely bonkers right now. And her support team includes her coach, Gemadu Degeffa, who will have been disappointed at the performance of his leading male athlete, Tamarit Toller, came here with high expectations of, of winning his fourth marathon following his world championship victory in Oregon earlier this summer. But... Gemadu is going to be amply compensated by his leading female athlete. What a story this is. Amano Berita came into the race with a, a personal best time of two hours, 20, 48. Oh, that's, that, that's literally gone. That, I mean, that is gone by, by a six huge, or seven margin, huge margin. Huge margin. Oh, look at that. That's fascinating. So we, 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 just outside world Just record outside. pace. Oh, fascinating! Oh, and the fact but that, that was that was obviously the 35 kilometers. So that's come up late on the screen there. Yep. So, so we literally are now watching someone that is very, very close. So it is going to be about the last two kilometers. You said she's into because that is an old caption on the bottom of the screen. So uh, she's through 40 kilometers, way through 40 kilometers now. So that doesn't help us right now. 
but I think the fact that she slowed, uh, she came off that world record pace between 30 and 35 indicates that it's going to be a, a very big ask for her to break the, the women's world record at the marathon, but still looking very, very good. Oh, it makes it fascinating into these uh, last uh, three minutes of running and uh, maybe just over that. So she's coming up to the last kilometre. And then as we saw with uh, Kelvin Kipton, that 800 metre mark, that last half a mile is uh, well documented. And that uh, iconic finish here by the hemispheric. Beautiful day here. It has warmed up over the last kind of half an hour. We've seen the temperature definitely rise and uh, you know, the runners will be feeling that slightly and the masses definitely will as the, the day progresses. But uh, two hours and 11 and the noise you can hear on the uh, crowd side is towards an athlete that is uh, within touching distance of the world record. Well, I think Amani Bariso can hardly believe what she's achieved. Uh, a few minutes ago, she looked around just to check that she was well clear of Gide, which she is. And so she's running now down back towards the City of the Arts, where the finish line is. I'm sure she can see the, the hemisphere about a kilometre down the road. And Where's that 800 metre to go, Mark? That's so important now, isn't it? There's Ayad Lamderson, the uh, Spanish record holder at the marathon. Just failed today in his attempt to set a new Spanish record. It wasn't actually the first Spaniard across the line. But another very, very commendable performance just being congratulated by Miguel Mostaza. Congratulations, new race record. Can you believe it? I can't believe, but I was really prepared. Yeah. Third burst record in history. Yes, of course, but by the grace of God, I did it. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you. So that was an interview with Kelvin Kipton, the winner and the fastest debutant over the marathon distance of all time. But uh, on the screen, Richard, the athlete looking over her shoulder. She doesn't need to. She's going to win this race. It's just a matter of how fast. She is going to win it. It's going to be her third consecutive victory in the marathon. One in Mexico City earlier this year. One in Mumbai two years ago. Came here. Not many people were talking about Amana Buriso. But after this race, there she is. The leading female athlete, Amana Barisa, who has upset the form books today in beating her more fancied compatriot, let us send Gide. Here she is on the final stretch of carpet, which is going to bring her into the finish straight. She's just going to miss. She's just going to miss it. She's got 20 seconds. Oh, it's going to be oh so close. But you're right, Richard. She's going to be just outside. I think she put in a very fast five kilometers up to 30 kilometers and the last 10 kilometers, which is in effect where she's been on her own when she ran clear of Letta Senba Gide is where she has lost a little bit of pace, a little bit of time on that world record time. So Bridget Koske's world record of 2.14 and four seconds is going to stay safe today. But this is the big story in the women's race, Amano Barisa of Ethiopia, coached by Gemadu Degafa, coming in to win the 42nd edition of the marathon here in Valencia in a new personal best time, beating her personal best by almost six minutes. Her personal best coming into this race, 2.20.48. She's going to go under two hours and 15 minutes, I think. What a win for Amana Barisa, two hours, 14.58, unofficially the joy of winning her ninth marathon. What a race.
what a win for Bariso against the form books. And here, the more fancied world record holder at the half marathon today, running in a debut marathon. So interesting. That's obviously a national record for Ethiopia. But uh, we are going to see the fastest debut marathon of all time. That's uh, it's going to be taken from the compatriots that uh, have twice lowered that this year. But uh, yeah, again, it wasn't written in the script. We didn't talk about it in the week. But there's your new course record holder, Bariso. What a run. Amani Bariso, take a bow. Alongside uh, Paco Borau, the AIMS president and race director here in Valencia, and one of the Roy Galfonso brothers, who is very much behind this race. Well, there's the look of pain and disappointment etched on the face of Letta Semba Gidei. We'll see her, I'm sure, come back and run even faster. But today, in her debut, she's going to set a record for the fastest ever debut run by a female athlete. I think it's going to be the sixth fastest of all time as well as a debut. But uh, again, I think that's a fascinating thing with the marathon. There is no absolute given. I mean, uh, we almost did give it to her and we almost thought it was just going to happen during the race. But, uh, you know, it, it didn't go to plan, didn't go to script. But uh, still, what a debut, sub 217 in her first marathon. Amazing. And you can see, you can see what it's, it's taken out of her. I think those last 10 kilometers, those last 30 minutes of running were very, very hard. And look at that, Sheila Chipkarui. Wow. Finishing very, very strongly in third place in the women's race in her debut marathon. And she was, she was two and a half minutes down, I think, on the two leading women. And look at this, the pace at which she's finishing. Sheila Chipkarui, that's a big debut. Obviously sub 30 minutes in Valencia and obviously second and third over the half marathon here previously. She's sub 65 a couple of times over the half marathon distance. And wow, that's one of the fastest debuts as well. So. Uh, We've seen some quality running, and obviously we've seen some stars of the future at the moment who have uh, set their stalls out for some big marathon careers. Well, Amani Bariso taking the applause from her compatriots. Tasha to at home as well. We said there was a big number of them inside, 27, uh, sorry, 218 pace.